Hi everyone and welcome to my place. It's been a big old day, it's the end of my day and I just thought how great is this? I can spend time a glass of wine doing some flowers with you and today I'm here to do something for Lawrence. Lawrence is in the Netherlands somewhere, I don't know the Netherlands could be anywhere in the world but anyway he wanted to know how to do something that would be really appropriate for a man's office and he said that some of the things that I have been doing are a bit too prissy for him and could I come up with something that's berries, a few branches, maybe some pussy willow, something that was really strong. So this is what we're going to do today and I thought if I do it in advance, Lawrence if you're interested you can stay, hang around and watch or you can go off and I don't know, have a coffee or something. So give me a few minutes and I'll pull this to pieces and I'll show you how easy it is to pull together. Okay, welcome back. I've used this um, lovely galvanised sort of tinny basket thing and I've just put some grey foam into there because Lawrence said that he wanted something artificial and he's got a good source of where he can purchase it wherever he is in the world, in the Highlands or somewhere in the Netherlands, I don't know. But anyway, I've put a bit of grey foam into there and that's wedged in there quite firmly so I don't need to worry about anything else. Now, the other reason why I've selected the tin or the galvanised um, galvanised tin is because I wanted to use these pussy willow branches and when you see the colour into the container it's sort of reflected back into the branches. Right, really really easy. I like to cover up my workings before I start and it's just a matter of just laying that down there and if you find that the, the um, moss is just, a, or the oasis is just sort of like moving a bit you can just use this moss and just push that right down into there and that will keep all that in, in place. Right, I've got three sticks so all I'm going to do is I've cut them all to the same length and if you're not sure what length all I've done is I've got the rule of thumb is one and a half times the height or the width of the container whichever is the greatest so this here is the longest bit is this this bit across here so I've just sort of like laid my um, branch onto there and cut them about that length with just a little bit more so that that a good two inches here can be stuck down into the foam right working from this end one into there one into there and one into this end here with sort of like equal distance. Now don't try and, and don't worry about them all being sort of like going the same way because you know in nature what it's like, branches grow all over the place. And I sort of thought that a bloke, as you said Lawrence, my, some of my things are a bit too prissy for you so we'll just make it sort of like a little bit rougher and more organic and more natural. Okay, let's put the berries in next and they are sort of round about the same height of as the branches. So one into there, I'm going to bring another one, oh, got rid of my eye, another one into there. And they're sort of like, I'm sort of thinking these are like hawthorn berries, so they're just sort of like going all over the place. And then with this one here, bring that into there, like so. Because I've got that there, bring the other one at that end, so that we're starting to build up this picture. Now the other thing I thought would be quite nice is to use this conifer, because it's sort of like, really, it, although it's it's not a heavy, it's not visually, well it is actually visually heavy, but I thought that this would be quite good down the bottom here to actually stabilise the whole arrangement so one to there all sort of kind of round about the same length that can go into there and I'll bring one over to this side here now I've also got some of this lamb's ear so I thought with that that and the other th reason I've used this is because when you look into that that same texture and colorway goes through to the same texture anyway and it is the same colorway so it's connecting back into your container I'll have a bit down into there a piece over to there, how many have I got? I've got four pieces, a piece over to there, and then I'll bring a piece down to there, like so. Now I've got these lovely um, clumpy berries. What I'm going to do with those is I'm just going to put a few into this. I've got one, and, and then I'll bring the other bit over to there. And I've still got this dirty big void, that's, you know, florist slang for a big hole. Put that into there, oops, that little bit fell off so I'll just push that into there. And then I've got these lovely little wee moss pads and I'm just going to push those down and into there. How many of those I've got? And this is, you don't need these but I just sort of thought that it added a little bit more texture and a little bit more interest. And I'll put those around into there and I'll bring this around to show you what I've done. So I've just sort of like stepped those up there and I've put one over there and then I've got those two over there. 
great and can I see any foam showing? Always check to make sure that you can't see any foam showing. But I think that's a really interesting, really lovely, strong arrangement that would suit any man's office. Lawrence, I hope you like that. I've enjoyed doing it for you and I'll see you all another day. Thanks for watching. Thank you.